So this is the new Lincoln Aviator. Let's take a look at its cargo area. Now this has 18.3 cubic feet behind its third row, which is actually quite a bit. Uh, not just for the luxury segment, but for any three row crossover. Uh, but for the luxury segment, by comparison, an Audi Q7 has uh, 14.3 cubic feet. Volvo XC90 has 15.8. Uh, so this, hey, has more. Now this does have a removable floor panel, which gives you actually a considerable amount of extra space there. Um, and there's still a full-size spare tire uh, under the floor, as well as a whole big plug-in hybrid battery underneath the right uh, second row seat. Now here is my backpack for a bit of scale there. Now these seats do go down by pressing a button. And then you can see just how much space you'll end up with um, when that seat's up versus when it's down. Now, unlike a uh, BMW X7 with captain's chairs, that seat does in fact fold and it folds flat, which is uh, very nice for transforming this from a people hauler to a stuff hauler. And then you can press the buttons again, make the seats go up. And uh, there you go. So that's how much space you have here in the Lincoln Aviator.